Episode 23, joined by the lovely boys, Jay and Hudson. Hello. G'day. Go on. How's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're here. You're here? Good, thanks. Yep. We are All right. here. We're here. Oh, and obviously Lockie. Yeah, thanks, man. Fuck Lockie, Fuck. though. No one likes yeah. Lockie. Yeah. And 4K. Baby. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. Hey, don't worry about me, bro. <laughs> I'm just here. All right. Tell us a bit about yourselves. Hudson, you go first, mate. I hate talking about myself. Uh, where do I start? I'm 25. You're about it. <laughs> so, you're, so you're old? I'm older than everyone else. Yeah. Um, I DJ. I'm good riddance, if anyone didn't wasn't aware, but I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, I also do extracurricular activities such as powerlifting and riding a scooter. Ooh. Pretty awesome as well. Fucking Fuck you're a talented man. Yeah. Oh, so sexy. I try to be. Do you reckon cool. you could bench me? Easily. Fuck I yeah. could bench you and me at the same time. <laughs> no, no, you reckon one of each arm, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> <time. laughs> well, what, you're, what, you're like 60 kilos and I'm no, like I'm not. 80. Like, fuck, I'm like 80. Yeah, he's, he was lifting 275. Oh, yeah. yeah that's like, bench that's press? Like, huh? I'm a bench press. Yeah, but like power lift, like fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like see you later. We'll sit down on a chair with a bar between us. Oh, get on. Come on, see how we go. <laughs> anyway, Jay? Uh, yeah, Jay. That's my name, of course. Um, 22... Are you 22? Yeah, bro. Turning 23 Don't in know like about three you. weeks. Free Holy shit. I thought you were a year older than me. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> same age. Same income. Yeah, something like same that. Same super contribution. Um, <laughs> DJ. And yeah, I ride a scooter as well. So that's me. We're actually the same person. Basically, much. yeah. You're just like a hairier, bigger version. Yeah, you can of actually Jay. grow hair. And I'm just dad and son. Hair. I'm yeah. growing hair. He's losing it. Dad yeah. and son. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, that was, that's, that's a true fact right there. So, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that, that was good, bro. Sorry. <laughs> just, oh, just, dad, just dad picking on his fucking son. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. All in the love. <laughs> that's um, fucking funny. How far did you go with the scootering, both of you? Just, Not just as far locally? As or? Not as far as him. Um, competed at nationals since 2015. Oh, yeah. uh, came third in the Open Division in 2016. And then missed out by Worlds by like three places in the next like two years in the Pro Division. So gutted, but uh, yeah, fun as man, like traveling over east and stuff and uh, riding with all the other boys. And oh, yeah, I, just, I judge him more than I ride. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. From what I look at, you look like a pro scooter rider and you teach kids on Razor scooters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. It's, like, well, like, it's, two, it's two different sources of income. Yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah so, like I judge mainly, so I judged I judged him actually at Nationals mm, okay. two years ago, so I'm the reason why he didn't go to Worlds, yeah, basically. Yeah, absolute disgrace. <laughs> You're not good lack, enough. Bad son, bad son. Lacking XP right there, boy. No, he did good. Oh, well. Always next time, but... Yeah, oh, not really. Not really. Not anymore. <laughs> Knees don't give up. Yes, all this COVID stuff, but yeah. That's me, mate. Nice. Nice. And you're Italian as well? Yes, I love my fucking food, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Bit of fucking noodles pasta, oh, man. I'm, oh, not, I'm not Italian, like, but I love food. Oh, man. Like, just her sugo oh, and her, just the pasta that she makes, man. Yeah, like, I know exactly what that means. Oh. It's, it's the sauce. <laughs> mm-hmm. The sauce, you know? Oh, yeah. Like the sauce. Yeah. Where's the fucking gabagoo? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah. Just food, mate. All right. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Go on. Who wants to go first? Should we go yeah. oldest or youngest? No, that's the oldest. Guess. We'll go that's oldest? Yeah, we'll, go, we'll do it because you're a bit more experienced. Uh-huh. So what got you into DJing? Uh, hit me five-year anniversary yesterday, actually. I don't know if it popped yeah, up. Yeah, I saw that. Soon. I did yeah. see that. Congrats, mate. Um, like, I used to go out a lot. Like, 2015, like, everything, like, peaked hard. Like, and I'm a lot, lot older than everyone else, but it was, like, basement. Syndicate, not so much. It was Yeah, mainly, like, basement was probably, like, a massive influence towards it all. Like, I never thought about DJing when I first started, like going out i was yeah. just like just keen for the sesh really but um <laughs> and then i was like cool like i took a bit of time off and then i was like man why don't i just like dj when i want to listen to music and i was literally just like at home just like <laughs> at home just like mixing more and more and more what did and you learn then, on uh ddj sb3 hmm. so i learned on serato first any waves or they just fucking no i was just serato so it was like the normal like yeah i did yeah. the double table where it was like you line up the yeah. line up the main blues like same as your setup yeah yeah now. Yeah. yeah um same as yours probably as well 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then one of my good pals, Michael Caird, was like going to Lab Six at the time and he bought he just smashed out XCJs. He was like, I'm gonna buy three XCJs. I was like, Okay. So I started practicing at his house, getting a little bit better. Um, he started playing at Metro's Frio because he got like cl- club gigs like maybe six months before I did. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, do you want to come down one time? And I was like, yeah, like I guess. And he's like, no dubstep though. And I was like, well, obviously, like I'm playing at Metro's Frio. Like <laughs> Metro's I'm not stupid. Um, this is when Lockie was probably 12. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but no, Big Art's house party like was huge for for him, for me and for Jack Lowe's. Oh yeah. All three of us, like that's kind of where we all met, but also it's where like we got more experience. And then after that, it kind of just went up. Like I played Attic just before it finished. Oh, nice. That was like the Wednesday night basement show. I never got to experience it at it. Was it like as sane as people say it was? Like the local nights weren't as big, but it was still kind of like that big influence of there was like everyone down there because they liked the music. And then the big events, it was like Wednesday night and like Sudhu or Coffee was playing and you're like, it's freaking Wednesday, bro. Bad Clap played a Wednesday. What the Did Midnight Tea play one? <laughs> That's nuts, bro. I can't remember. <laughs> like, he like Ross. Have, but yeah, it was just, just huge, after man. After work, just like... Yeah, like they would do... Midnight Tea, man. <laughs> yeah, like they would do like a regular day, like a regular week, and then like one week when they'd have basement on, the artist would more than likely still be here, and then they'd just rock up, and it would just be like the most hectic set. That's fucking sick. And it's only like 150 old. cap, I'm pretty sure, in there, but they would hit it every time. I saw Sc- um, Skunto, actually. Oh, before he went like whatever he is now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, where the fuck just, is he? He's just off the charts, <laughs> eh? Um, but yeah, he did like a like a half mega chop, half double set, bro. Well, like, at attic, at attic. So he did, <laughs> he did mega chop for like half an hour, and he had like the camera set up and everything. And I then wish the other, I got to experience. And that's that, like geisha, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other half was just. Have you been a geisha? <laughs> Geisha, bro, geisha, 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 geisha. Never. Fucking child, right? So, pretty much like, the charm, you know, air, <laughs> picture air nightclub. You're standing on the corner and you like got your button up on, you're about to go into air. But instead, yeah. you're like, you know what, might go somewhere else. Walk towards the food court. There's a kebab shop like just after air nightclub. Yeah. There's a black door. That's yeah. Geisha. And you just walk upstairs. Oh, it's upstairs. That's that big kebab like, shop, hey? Yeah. 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 I'm right. very new to this stuff. Like, I've always loved like dub and whatever. But yeah. like, I haven't really gotten like heavy, heavily invested until like maybe two years ago. Mm. Fair enough. So like, yeah. when I turned eighteen, none of this shit was all just like it was fresh. Hey, it was yeah, fresh. it was wubs. Yeah. yeah. When you go from like I listen to wubs to I listen to dubstep, that's when it like yeah, you're no like, shit. Oh. I didn't. I didn't. My first event was um, midnight tea at Cinderella. Well, and, and, and the monk. And yeah, the monk with monk. Yeah, that was a pretty good show. That was my Whoa. first. Event. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good show. Yeah. I swear, like, that when, was he told, a, when he told me that, bro. I was like, "Fuck, I feel sorry for you, eh? like, <laughs> That was my first event. I was Dude, like, you've just reached this expectation. Yeah, it's just gone, like, and he's just gone like. <laughs> Luckily, like, like I do rate the court sets and stuff. Yeah, like it's it's mm. not the fact just going down, but, but like, like that international yeah. set was just going. I've never I'd never experienced that sort of like proper mosh pit before yeah, so like yeah, so like you know worse. i don't i don't do drugs or anything right so i'm just in this sober as fuck i drove to this event so i walked in and like it was all right like you know how all events start it's like deep shit like 145 yeah. just chill yeah that was toby, and then toby all opened that show <laughs> yeah, did toby. all of a sudden toby fucking did. Yeah. who toby. toby toby who who's toby one of our my mates. mate so i closed that show did you yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well i walked in it's all quiet nice whatever calm then midnight tea comes on, and I tell you what, I fucking shit my dad. <laughs> so everyone comes out of the smoker section, man. Yeah, because I was because like... I was just sitting on the I was standing in the mosh pit because me and my mate Tom Rudder, good mate, um, we were just standing there like chilling. He's he's been to many of these. His jaw was fucking swinging everywhere. That night, um, <laughs> he's just I think everyone's there was <laughs> started throwing these fucking tunes down. I'm just like. Fuck me, bro. <laughs> it comes, getting it came fucking, out of nowhere, I'm, bro. I'm, this is me. We're trying to watch you. I'm just getting fucked. You yeah, always just, remember your first. Like, yeah, your first is yeah, like the break. Yeah, like, I took yeah. you to your first. Yeah. What I'm was not, your first? Um, It was a syndicate. So, it was yeah. it was syndicate was disciple, the, disciple yeah. takeover. And yeah. it was Myro Virtual Riot double loads. Yeah, that Fuck was my first. Set. And I was, Hudson's like, yeah, you want to go, man? I was like, don't have a ticket. He's like, yeah, I can find you one. And like, hits up this chick, and this chick like messages me. He's like, she's like, we want a ticket. And I was like, all right, like training her. And I was like, got the villa. I was like, where do I line up? Oh, yeah. that's right. Because I, I wasn't, I, I hadn't gotten there yet. Right? Yeah, I haven't gotten yeah, there. So yeah. I'm like waiting. I was like, bro, like, where do, where do I go? <laughs> yeah. Finally got in, met up, and then like, yeah, Dubloads was on, and I was just like. Whoa. I would love to see dub loads, honestly. Like dub loads was like that, that was when yeah. he was like peaking. That was, was yeah. like yeah, he bro. was releasing. He all had the time. a set at like I think it was Rampage, like 2019. It was I'm gonna say dub loads hero bus back. Yeah, then. yeah, that was fucked. Was my fucked. um my housemate was there. Really? What? Yeah. So Tim's went. So Tim, yeah, that was the Tim year that Tim's went to Rampage, uh, and Michael cared as well. 
that rampage was like the first day was like hero bus dub loads uh spag heady mm. there was fun case headline the first day excision huh. headline the second day um and then like obviously all the dmb as well but yeah he was like it was two days of just going off and i'm like yeah probably so. yeah that's the one of one one event i would love to go yeah, to rampage is just like yeah just energy rampage and defcon oh, i know you know i love my hard stuff i know you like your heart i, I fucking like love do, my do, heart do, 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 do. and the podcast just finishes <laughs> <laughs> you know i love hard <laughs> stuff i was listening to your um filth mix right yeah. the one you just released yesterday or whatever mm. and i heard the kicks of the hard stuff coming. he's not gonna drop a hard stuff track is he I remember you showed me that that, that yeah. tune. That bro, tune. Is it, is it? No, it's not. No, I'm just, gonna just say that. A couple hard style kicks. I was like, Jay, you're gonna yeah, fucking yeah. relax. Definitely. Okay. If I get a set, I'm gonna be. Play, I'll play as a single. You better play. fucking play that. You better no, open that with it. A, that's a good, good, good find. All you, you need to think of find. is that yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, on that note, what's your actual favorite genres? Oh, ah. Uh, Cause I know you guys love your mix. You like your fucking wub. Yeah, and definitely. And your DMB and shit. But like, yeah. never been into it. I'm not really into lyrics. I've never been. You know, I've always been listening to. If if I listen to a rap song, I'll be listening to the beat of the rap song. It's not. Uh, you know, I'm the same. You know, fuck shit, blah blah. blah yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> a, like, yeah, it might be sick lyrics, but I'm like, man, this this track is, this it's not got like a nice flow or whatever. But since listening to dubstep, that's been the main thing, and then. Drum and bass now getting into like you know sort of like that summer vibe, uh, drum and bass, and then obviously the heavier the stuff liquid, like AMC. liquid kind of stuff, yeah, yeah, like obviously got AMC sort of heavier stuff, but yeah, I don't know, just bass music in general, I reckon, electronic House. dance music, as yeah, was EDM. Yeah. EDM, EDM, yeah, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, yeah I feel like that's. Uh, I low key listen to everything, bro. I was about to say Hudson's favorite's Katy Perry. <laughs> Wait, nah. Actual that song goes yeah. hard. You every exactly. set, every every Part set he played by Katy Perry. Every time I play it, matter. I play that tune. I go <laughs> off like that song. But the right, the best part about the song is the drums. So it's like, yeah, that's what it comes back to. But nah, yeah. I literally, I probably listen to everything except for country. Yeah, I'm the shout, shout. Genuinely oh, shout. Country fuck is, country music, bro. Like, I fall, Country's fuck, like I fall asleep man. to like that like soft rock shit. That's like what is it like the fray and stuff? Dude, mm. that stuff put, makes me pass out, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't even care talking about it. Like it's a like cheat code. Do you guys like your heavy metal? No, nah. I, I listen to it more now. Like I listen to it a little yeah, bit nah. when I like road and stuff. I listen to it way more now that because like the BPM is the same in between like general EDM and heavy metal. Yeah, so it's very easy for me to like take it in as like if I listen to it for that. Um, but I don't know how to like seek out art, art, other artists that I haven't listened to before. Yeah. So I kind of just let people bring it to me like yeah. if I do it. But yeah, I have no issue with it. I can listen to that like... <clears throat> yeah. <dude. laughs> I, but honestly, like it's my favourite genre. Yeah. Is heavy metal, really? bro. Fair. Yeah, straight up. Fucking hell. I've always Fair. been a metalhead since I was a kid. Yeah. Like literally. <laughs> I listen to like... The, I listen like... I prominently... Listen, actually, no. I prominently listen to like Thousands Punk. That's actually probably like the yes. main bit. Yeah. Like listen to like earlier on like... Like Blink 182. <laughs> yeah. Like... Chemical Romance, but my chemical my romance. Chem- dude. I like my chemical Day. romance. Yeah. My chemical dude. Last last year, the year before, last year. They meant to play it. Green Day, yeah. Weezer, Fallout Boy. We're meant to all play it. Thing yeah. that was gonna. I saw Fallout Boy the year before. One of the best times I've ever had. Yeah, like Fallout Boy was. They're so on my sick. bucket list for sure. Yeah, bro. Lincoln Park was on my CD. bucket list too. Infinity on high with the sheep on the front. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Used to have the CD, bro. Yeah, oh. playing in my little DVD player. Mm. Damn, it's one of those albums. We <laughs> used to get the so fresh. Is that Kira? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember like, well, like, like last? Heavy metal on it. <laughs> so <laughs> like, so Britney, fresh, two thousand and eight. Like, oh, yeah, Britney Spears, Toxic comes on. Oh yeah, <laughs> she, bro. Dude, this is mad. You love Toxic oh, though. He's not even. Shit, that's his favorite tune. Every time Toxic comes on, every to be like, fair, it is a fucking it is, rocket a track, of a tune. Yeah, it it's a track. track, man. It's like, a rocket of a tune. Oh. Yeah. Did you ever do last year on Instagram? They had those like put your three albums like on your story or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it had like the random guy sitting there like holding all the vinyls, and you like copy and paste your three albums on there. It was like <laughs> yeah, massive. That. Yeah. Infinity High was on there, and then it was I put Infinity on High. Immersion by Pendulum, like the first Pendulum, like big album, mm-hmm. and then I think I put like Ed Sheeran's Multiply album. <laughs> Ed Sheeran goes off. Who bro. are you? I love Ed. You just saying how you hate the soft rock shit and all that. No, I love the and soft you... rock stuff. I don't like country. Ed Sheeran ain't country. Don't say Ed Sheeran's country. He's not country. He's not country. He's just. Depressing. I don't. I like Ed Sheeran. I like his stuff. I like his stuff. If once you see him live, <laughs> the game will change. I have seen him live. 2015, when uh, he first came to, where did he play at? RSC Arena or Perth not, Arena? Not the first time. Isn't it? That, and that's 2018. First time he came, he didn't that's even sell out Challenge the first, the first, That was the first time. I was 15 when he went. 
And I was yeah, it was, um, it was, like it was it, wait, RAC something. Arena. Yeah, that was that's the second time. So he came one time before that, before people knew him. He didn't even sell out Challenge Stadium, bro. Fuck. Like, think of that. Yeah, because the one I went to was fucking packed. And the last time he was here, he sold out Optus two nights in a row. Um, yeah. That's I do remember that. Hectic. That's fucking over like mad. five years, bro. <laughs> that's fucking insane. Uh, Imagine the moolah. <laughs> moolah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got a question for you, actually. <clears throat> we didn't ask Jay how he got into mixing. Oh, we'll go ahead. Okay, Jay. Oh. It, was, it was all me. Oh, okay. but just quickly, right? Thanks, bro. You're fucking rude. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. you. I, I was watching the podcast back last yeah. week. You're fucking rude. No, you're fucking rude. <laughs> yeah. Shave that mo. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, no, it anyway. pops off that. Yeah. What? It pops off. Oh, bro, He's my a mo. a sexy motherfucker yeah. with the oh, mo, bro. bro, almost fucking... I nicked it when I was shaving the other day. No. He's like, can you notice? I was like, what? Is there a no. mo there? What? <laughs> 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 oh, fuck <laughs> Ask him the question and shut the fuck up. Before Lockie rudely interrupted, how'd you get into mixing, Jay? Nah, probably, yeah, Hudson was probably the big, uh, big uh, impact of me getting into mixing and stuff because uh, he had obviously a nice, was it the 2000s? We, ju- we just we talked just, about Yeah, the yeah, 2000s set up in his County Vale house and um, like, yeah, man, have a go. And I'm like, bro, there's just so many buttons, man. What the fuck's going on? I still, I've still got a video on my phone of your first double. Oh, Do you remember what it is? No, I don't remember. Bro, G shit Paris song. Wow. Nice. I love the Paris song. Man. Wow. Paris, wow. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and ever since then, eh, it's just taken off. You've needed a bit of a kick in the ass with it, but because like yeah. you didn't want to buy decks, and then I was like, bro, like, do you actually like doing it? You're like, yeah. And I was like, so why would you not put money into it? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, good point. And then I finally got a set of like just the controller and thing and mixing off that at home and just getting doubles and so fun it's just it just brings sort of like that different rush out yeah. of like you know compared to scootering yeah you know what i mean it's just that different sort of rush different people different you know energy it's different just, community bro. yeah it's just yeah it brings mm. something to you know your life really yeah it's like the music why not mix it you know, yeah like, facts you know so yeah there's something about just mixing like i'll just yeah. be at home like it, it doesn't even matter like if i'll just mix by myself yeah I, but because I'm, my neighbors are dogs yeah. so whenever i play I out, headphones like, in. Yeah. how do dogs so, pay rent huh how do dogs pay rent <laughs> <laughs> fucking i don't even know <laughs> they have yeah. no thumbs bro <laughs> 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 no but I, I dj with my headphones on yeah normally. yeah um, yeah. So when I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> Shut up <laughs> I'll tell you the truth like a sun tomorrow <laughs> right now Sorry to you <laughs> One pig ear <laughs> Born here bro <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I DJ with my headphones on So when I find that good double In yeah, my bro. room It's like 2am I'm just like And it's just silent in my room But I'm just like yeah, dude, you, dude. Know you, ha- you know you're having a real mix sesh When you sit down and you mix Just for the sake yeah, of you yeah, to mix If you're like sitting there And you're like <laughs> <laughs> it's so good I love the rush I love the rush The rush is good eh? Yeah it's good. really good Anyway You have a fucking question Or what Me Yeah. Oh shit me Yeah You yeah, may as well butt <laughs> in it May as well butt <laughs> in again I've got a really I've got a really good question no, we'll, start, we'll start the questions no, now fuck off I'll stop being rude okay No fuck off You're such a bad person So you person. know you're being rude You just uh, want to be I, rude well, That's rude You know like I started a question And this cunt was like Oh yeah what about this question <laughs> What question <laughs> well, You're just favouring <laughs> Hudson At the moment <laughs> What do you mean Do you want to 1v1 me right now Alright come on I'm keen. I'm keen. Let's go, boys. Fuck, it's gonna be real hot. Alrighty, we got Lockie in the one corner. We got Vinny in the other. They're off oh! camera. Oh my god! For some reason, they're pegging. They're not actually <laughs> fighting at all. <laughs> Damn. I had you, bro. I already got you in that anaconda real good. <laughs> my anaconda. You like you weren't close, bro. <laughs> my anaconda. Alright, alright, alright. I have a question. Have you finished your questions yet, or what? No, you can start with questions. Okay, I have a question. I've I've come up with it maybe a few weeks ago, but I was like. We'll save it for when a couple of DJs come on, but anyway. Mm. Um, so, craziest sound design from a DJ. Oh, I like wow. this question. Or wow. craziest sound designs. You talk so about like multiple or one or your favourite, whatever. Are you talking about like one act or like... Like a producer. Like a producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah like a producer. Aspect. Well, yeah. like I can think straight... Someone who's unique or whatever. I can straight up say probably Void or yep. Midnight Tea or Hesh. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say Hesh. Yeah. When Hesh first started bringing out that whole like, um, was it Locked? That Locked EP or Locked EP? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Mike Tyson yeah. and stuff like yeah, that, that, bro. Like nice. that, that changed a lot of shit. 
Yeah. Like Facts. that was is it, real. Is it, yeah, are you treating it as like personal movement for yourself? Like, oh, just in, what? Like, what do you think? Sound like just in terms of you've listened to someone, you go, "Fuck, this sounds so different. It sounds so good." Like, yeah. I don't you know. know what I mean? Like, I think like I think in the long run of like sound design in general, I always think of Must Die only yeah. for like diversity in his range as well. Mm, like, yeah. Making I re- reckon when like artists make an album, that's when you'll find like a con- like a bit of a difference. So like, Must Die. Dion Timmer probably yeah good has done the album Virtual Riot and yeah. Barely Alive like a both Barely Alive I think. bro yeah, yeah. Barely Alive sure. Barely Alive to be honest up there, eh? Phase 1 for me has like peaked pretty hard because it's like all heavy but it's also all different as well yeah, yeah. 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 he's making some D&B tunes eh? oh yeah yeah bro yeah. Has a, um, you know Thy Art is Murder sorry do you know who Thy Art is Murder is like heavy no. metal side no. it's like an Oz like screamo band he has a D&B tune with them doing like the breakdown oh, vocals that's mad huge it's gonna be sick. Huge. Tip. No, it's already out. It's been out for like three years. Yeah. It's so link good. me. You have to link me. Yeah. Well. Um. Link me. What about like the? So you guys like the heavy, hard and fast shit. Mm. Right? But do you like your like rhythm stuff as well? Or yeah. Not? Don't get me I wrong. I know you do. I love a little bit of rhythm. Like, <laughs> I don't. It, it, it's 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 so it's you know I like you know listening to it and stuff, but mixing it, it you don't get that sort of yeah. Rush. I'm just yeah. You don't yeah, get yeah, that yeah. you know yeah. uh, that a pump, and you want to go mm. you want to go into a club and you used to be like, whoa, this is. Not yeah, like, yeah. It's just, everyone's personal preference. Don't get me wrong, but mm. rhythm. Yeah, it's just that. What, do you, sort what, of, what about like, um, like a like back on the sound design? Someone like Leatrix or Finn or something like that. Like something like yeah, you on know, like on like a rhythm perspective. Yeah, a rhythm design. perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love Leatrix. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, say I that. Leatrix. I do That's love Finn. Diversity. Bro, I, I, I love Finn and Banksy's kind of stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't mix it. Yeah, but I I would mix Leary tricks. Yeah. I could find a slot for that stuff. Mm. I do love his like vibey kind of yeah rhythm. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Like, and he's got like, like a lot of diversity. I reckon Leary tricks does like all these new songs now compared to his older stuff. It's it's a whole it's like a whole different Leary tricks, but mm. at the same time, it's really good. On mm. that note, like yeah, like Leary tricks. Every song's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's I love that, yeah. that song he did with the Perth rapper. Yeah, yeah. the new one. That's Fucking good. Good. Tune. Was that yeah, EP, good. The, is it the Good Day EP? Is yeah, it called Good Day? Sight and my that is one of my favorite is, projects yeah. of all time, bro. Yeah. Like honestly, yeah, at least I feel like rhythm rhythm design. Like I'd probably go more actual rhythmish. Barracks and blank face. Oh, like, I love separately are both, Like there is a barracks track. Well, I think it's a barracks track. It's like a plate. It's on. Blank Faces, Savage yeah, Society. Yeah, it's, 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 blank it's, it's, today. It's, it's the Static yeah. Bass remix. And it oh, is, it's fucked. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a hectic track. Fuck, I, know, it's yeah. dope. I sent but it to um, him and I was like, bro, this is fucked. Did yeah. it come out today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh well, it came out yesterday because we get it like yeah, yeah, yesterday, yeah. but they think it's today. Yeah, that's the best fucking thing about Australia. Australia. We get everything a day early. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah, everything. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Spotify. Yeah, Friday I just <laughs> open up my Spotify and I'm like, yeah. give me some stuff. Yeah, <laughs> release <laughs> radar, um, boy. Every Friday, my release radar sucks. Dude. I don't so know why good. mine sucks so bad. I have to go searching for shit. Yeah, fair. It's just a, like, sometimes, fucking sometimes mine's shit. like because I sleep with that playlist and it's on Spotify. Sometimes it's like Coldplay release a new song and I'm like, awesome, but also like I want to listen to something that's got a bit more. <laughs> 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 so that's why I find heaps of new baseline tunes because all I listen to on Spotify is baseline. Yeah, and then all my release radar is just baseline tunes and tunes mm. I'd probably never be able to find. And it's like the artists that you wouldn't even think of. Yeah, no, like, especially I, especially baseline, baseline right? too. Well, like. It's like in my release trade, at the bottom of my list, I've got people that all their songs have a hundred thousand plays on Spotify, and they're yeah. fucking slap. Yeah, literally. Yeah, baseline. Mm. I reckon is baseline is an underrated sort of drama. Like underrated. to be honest, baseline for me has taken over my dubstep drive. Yeah, like a lot lately. I've been struggling to mix dubstep at home. Yeah, yeah. I love playing dubstep out. I'd love the energy, but baseline, like I hardly listen to dubstep mm. anymore. It's yeah. More palatable, like especially when you're like sitting there. Like imagine you're just like. Well, for me, because I don't drive and shit, so I'm like getting the bus. If I'm like sitting there and I'm listening to like, <laughs> when I listen to Nimda and Versa, like their collab, and yeah, I'm like bro. sitting on the bus and yeah. in my head, it's like someone's punching me in the face. Yeah. And I'm like <laughs> on a bus with people just hell chill. I'm like, this is a bit weird. Wait, I'll be driving in. to work at 7.30 in the morning and I've got yeah. half style just pumping. Like, <laughs> doom, doom. And I just go, you're sugar over. free. Someone, like, some <laughs> nana's like on the way to fucking wherever she's going. I'm just like, doom, doom, you're, sugar, <laughs> you're sugar free, 800 meat. Get out of the car, sir. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> blue V baby Fucking yeah. vape Blue V Fucking oh, hard the stuff duo man <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> Yum Yum right, Should we um, jump on the questions then or um, I wouldn't mind asking him, While we're on the bass topic We should be asking the question We got last week about oh, the, ba- you, the bass scene so, Yeah so Finn asked us yeah. What mm. are your thoughts On the Perth bass scene At the moment At the moment 
Because I know you've got a good opinion about it. Yeah. For sure. Because you, you've been in the industry a very long time compared to me yeah. and everyone else. So I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Like, I wouldn't consider it to be oversaturated because that's probably like a bad... I feel like oversaturation is a bad interpretation because it's like there's too much. There isn't too much. And there's like a lot going on. But I think it's hard to like get everyone to widen their kind of like range mm. so i think a lot of things can get really drawn into like personally though i do the same thing like because i'm actually a promoter i uh, well not promoter i'm like an event manager for syndicate yeah when i'm booking artists sometimes i just like i have people that i think in my head straight away yeah yep. and sometimes i need to get out of that habit and be like well i need to actually think a bit broader like yeah. there's yep. a lot more people that can be involved or like you can make use of them because a lot of people can do the similar stuff it's just a lot of people haven't had as much opportunity as well yeah but that's it though well what I was saying last week about it is that like I used to always think it's not who you know it's like how you but like at the same time now getting into more I do think it's a lot Yeah, it know. does help if you know that person yeah definitely like yeah. you know like that like the main s- slot I got a filth like yeah, yeah. you know he just put he didn't even tell me I was playing and he was just on he, I, was, yeah, yeah. I just got put in the group chat the day the event got released well that's networking and that's the best yeah. thing that anyone yeah. can do is like network your name you, yeah. build, you make a brand or you do anything like yeah. that that's all it comes down to so that's the thing when it comes to the people that you think of it's the people that put in the most effort or you like recognise the most Yeah. so it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just a matter of who can speak up more yeah I think a lot of uh, the filth stuff I think Damo puts a lot of people on main slots of who he trusts yeah he knows that I got to that, no matter that what can, they play, they'll be able to mix fine and yeah, yeah. work well. Yeah, you know, they can put a good show on yeah. it. You know but what I, I, mean? am, like, I do like how he's doing the DJ comp. That yeah. on the side yeah. room. Yeah, I'll be sick. There's that's, been that's some it. fucking sick mixes. Yeah, like, yeah Yours dude. was fucking good. Yeah, you know, Nathan's was good. Nathan's was good. There was fucking those two, the back-to-back mix. Yeah. Um, what are your I mates? I haven't seen a lot Matt, of them. Is it Matt and... Yeah, that, yeah. Matt and... Uh, the 30-minute one? I think Matt and Brandon. Yeah, bro, that one slapped. That was... Yeah, I'll be able to find it for you. Yeah. Um, my mate Josh Didn't he Because I used to do Like um, Athletics yeah. Back in the day It's I think Yeah His mates um, Yeah Really good Oh I've seen I've seen that mate Outside. Yeah I haven't seen the other one Yeah Yeah that's a good mix As yeah, well right. yeah, But like so I could what, see What sort of Like Is it like Hard and fast shit Or is that rhythm what is it's, it? a, it's a lot Lot like more like what I mix, it's but like it's not as hard as it's fast. Like, it's, it's like, like it's like one, in between. One forty five, one fifty. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I feel like Damo is trying to get a lot of rhythm on the side stage because I dropped a rhythm tune and he was like in the comments. He was like, "Where'd it go?" He was like, "Yeah, play more music like this." Yeah. So. Well, Damo Damo loves his rhythm though. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that's what he wants filthy be branded as. Well, that's what it is. It's underground music, and like I think underground dubstep is that. That's the classification as like rhythm and like a little bit more of that like lower end stuff yeah. whereas like when you say like hard and far shit for me that's like it's like 150s never say die disciple stuff yeah yeah, yeah. two different sort of ends of the I, spectrum. I, I prefer to mix rhythm yeah but, I, yeah. but yeah I, personal preference yeah, yeah. but yeah. that's pr- probably because I don't have enough fucking tunes to mix your shit I went through a stage of mixing mixing like not a lot of it but like when I'd be at home I just have like a rhythm playlist and I go through it yeah and it was just a matter of like a bunch of artists that I knew and releasing like those sorts of songs yeah. I was like they're cool to mix at home but it'd just be like doubles on doubles on doubles and just yeah. kind of stuff. So the unique sounds yeah. that go together. Yeah. And, and you're just like, whoa, well, yeah. It's like, bing, bing bong. <laughs> I was talking to Billy, you know. Arnie. McLennan. Yeah. Oh, McCle- McCle- yeah. McCle- I can always say McClellan. We were chatting and we, uh, we just both thought it was crazy. He put us on the start of the day, eh? And he told us, he told, because on his branding, he's heavy. Oh, huge. Yeah. yeah. And he when was he played just, before Leatrix. It was just like, yeah, yeah. bro. That yeah. Was, that was and he was, I was like, what, what did Damo tell you to play? And he was like, well, I told him like my branding's not rhythm and he's like yeah just don't throw any doubles or triples so that's what I'm doing as well I'm just playing single heavies yeah cool which I don't, bro I'm happy cool. to be on that lineup, and it's pretty stoked I get to be drunk after yeah <laughs> you get your whole <laughs> day ahead bro you know what I mean it's actually yeah, it's a sick. fucking crazy lineup. Mm. it is oh like, man in terms of local talent that's a good lineup. good thing like, the day off but did ya? yeah nice so you're nice. gonna go that week I got Friday and Saturday off so you're gonna go Ooh. yeah that weekend's Probably. gonna be Ooh. Ooh. oh yeah that's yeah, Jay's, uh, Jay's birthday yeah, the day before. Hey. Yeah, no, we were. Uh, Did you get an oh, invite yet? Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. I told Always. him. I was like, you might lock it yet. I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, nah. Imagine like just finding out now. Middle, middle of the potty. Just <laughs> yeah. like, cheers, lads. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jay's like, you can come if you want. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you want. Help, oh. pity, help pity invite <laughs> yeah. for everyone. Oh, oh I like, think the numbers are full. I'll look at the book, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, should be good. All right, we're going to the questions now if you want. Yeah. I want to get these questions, eh? Yeah, a bit, uh, a bit slow. We don't have a lot to, today, but 
<laughs> we've got a couple of funny listen ones. to the people um last year we we're talking about bars and nightclubs and stuff <coughs> someone's asked um overrated bars in perth oh can i say one i got one straight when i saw that message i straight up thought the lookout yeah. i've only been one so lookout i think i think it's overrated sucks bro. Yeah, okay, for a, yeah. However, nah, Jay loves sun- it. Okay, you, I, Jay I, loves I, it. Hey, 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 hey. There was a point in time, I'm going to say, like I every went, Sunday. I went there 10, 11 Sundays in a row. Holy shit. Yeah, this is when Fucking my school hell, crew went there all the time. Like, all, like, cause they're yeah. north. So, and north, it, it's only north. North, north side. North. North. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, the first. Think five, six were really good, and then it's just gone. And then it just got the same. It it's just, like yeah. what Metro's it's, did for me. It's yeah. just the same. I think Metro's does that for anyone. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Now, like, I could not. Give during the day, I I haven't been there during the day when we went to the lookout. If I, if we yeah. got a whole crew and went yeah. there during the day, I reckon it would be a different yeah, vibe. Hundred yeah, okay. percent. Yeah. I'd have to say, good. yeah, during the day it was pretty good. It yeah. wasn't busy. It was everyone yeah. sitting down having a beer, having yeah. a feed. I think that's that's nightlife. No. Yeah, no. Nah. The line, yeah, no. Nah. Well, nah, fuck that. I, I yeah, I went that. once I only went once and it was actually like a month ago and it was for a work thing because one of the yeah. like suppliers put on like a big night and we literally had like the whole thing to ourselves bowling big night. Bowling big night. Tab. So I was like, this is pretty cool. Free drinks. Yeah. It's but a cool not? venue. It's a cool oh, venue. It's, it's honestly just not my vibe. Yeah, it's not my like, vibe. I would, I would the go s- there on a Sunday for a couple of beers, but I would leave by like six. Well, yeah. you know that like massive palm tree? Yeah. I've seen on a Sunday, like like guys like pissing that tree in front of everyone, just like on the dance floor. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just like on that Sorry. tree, bro. And like people climb the tree and like I just stupid like, hey, shit girls. there, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, same. Just, just to see yeah, some black shit there, eh? Huh? Let alone in front of everyone. I yeah, dude. It's just it's just like, man. Why? Like, <laughs> probably overrated for me, but only because when we went, it was pretty like dog shit. It was Canfield? Oh, Canfield sucks. I could, I could, that's bro. definitely overrated. That's a good one. Like Canfield, for, like, yeah. I hear I hear a lot of people talk about the Canfield as like, oh, it's hell good, just hell good get amongst it. And like, I've been there once. I probably and it's again. so yeah. it's it's I know it's not far from the city, but it's, you feel like you're just out of yeah. yeah I'd rather go to the win- I'd rather go to the game. I'd rather oh, go to the Windsor. The game, man. I'd hundred percent oh. rather go to the Windsor. It's like probably same distance into the yeah. city. Yeah. yeah, like you just go there instead. Like, yeah. and you feel closer to the city. Like, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, Lookout's definitely. Up there, bro. Underrated, um, the Avery man always pops up. I, was about I to love the Avery. I was about bro. to say, I, th- I think it's overrated. Really? Yeah, I, t- I, I was hundred percent. That was my agree. second one. Why do we always is go fuck. there, bro? <laughs> every like every time, like, where are we going man. for a drink? Uh, let's go to the Avery. I went there in normal clothes and I felt out of place. Yeah, Everyone's wearing fucking like suits and shit. Yeah. Like, nah, I think it's overrated. I think it it's is, old people. Yeah, definitely. Hundred. My my overrated. Last weekend we went to the Arbor. You're just overrated. A little bit overrated. No. I, when no. I, I wouldn't say it's no. the best, but because, I would say it's because, overrated. Because there's three reasons, right? The line's always fucked after seven o'clock. Oh, okay. yeah, fair. <laughs> under, under the step, it gets way too fucking packed. Because it's got good music. Not it's always. Got a DJ. Not always. Not always. The music sometimes very. Yeah, but shit. it's the start of the night. What do you expect him to play? And. Dubstep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. That's about it. There's only two. Okay. You said three. Well, then you yeah, can well, say, you can say Henry Summer for the same okay, reason. Okay. Right? Yeah, well, that's, well, yeah. Henry Summer is, is that's a that's a harsh one. But Because but I love Henry Summer. Henry Summer, Henry Summer, like, with all the people in there, you yeah. don't go, oh, I don't want to be here. It's too packed. You're yeah. like, this is popping off. Yeah. 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 Nah, with, yeah. I, like, I have to say one thing about the arm, it's hard to get a spot up top. Bottom, middle Yeah, yeah there's true. not enough seating never, never, never Especially been. with us all smoking Like you always want to go they to should, smoke They should air. have chairs Yeah Where the smoke Where that grass bit is mm, That would be just sure. so much better man no, You know what I mean happens when everyone's sitting there With like one hand in the pocket And they're just like, <laughs> out, having, having, like <laughs> yeah. yeah Oh my god man <laughs> what, about, what about you Jay? You reckon you got one that's overrated? Overrated Besides What we've said Not really sure I eh? like we got a good list there. Jay's, Wait, that, the, Jay's always in it for the vibes, so he doesn't. Yeah, so yeah. as long as long as my mates are having. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I don't, I don't, I don't mind vibes, where we're bro. going. I don't mind where we're going, but if someone said, "Yeah, we're gonna stay at Avery for this amount of time," you'd be like, so. "I'd be like, okay, cool." I'm ch- I'm thinking of the next place we want. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to Mop Donuts. I'll see you later. Yeah, fair enough. No, I'm just go, what, yeah, do you think? Bro. Do you think Newport's go to Uncle overrated? Bill, just, 
I'll just go Uncle Billy's to be honest. Newie goes, <laughs> Newie goes hard. You, you can't you can't ask me that because I you don't rather really go Benny's. To Freer, right? I love no, I love Freer. I love Benny's though, and you don't like Benny's. Benny's, Benny's is like because I understand where you're coming from about the packness wise. Yeah, it's I don't just understand like... that, but I'd rather be at Benny's in Newport. But I'll take Newport if I couldn't get into Benny's. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. Every time I think of Freer, I just go. I just think of Little Creatures, and I love it. Like, yeah, I would, I would yeah. rather not. I would I would spend a whole night at Little Creatures, but I think it's because I hell like beer. I, yeah. I didn't realize. Like when you guys will walk in at the back mm. at Benny's, yeah. Because I've only gone from the back. I've never gone from the front before. I was like, why are you guys all going to the toilet at the same time? Well, That's we, what we I know thought. Why? <laughs> 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 on the on the recharge. No, I'm joking. Charlie, all night. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I, was, I was like, what the fuck? And then yeah, it's a whole fucking <laughs> packed. It's, fu- it's, it's fucking massive, pack. bro. It's like, what the fuck is going so on? So if I went there sober, I probably wouldn't enjoy Benny's as much as I do. But every time I go there, I'm drunk. That's why I like going to Arbor first. Maybe that's why everywhere I go sucks. Because I'm sober <laughs> like 90% of the time. Yeah, 100%. That's probably, looks like you can like do probably, some shots, yeah. man. Yeah. Well. <sighs> shut, 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 shut. I actually had, had my first Jager bomb two weeks at weekends ago. Whoa. Drop the mic. <laughs> Where was it? Are you serious? Ah, uh, Metro's. Um, I was... I was yeah. kicking, it we're was kicking a, you off the potty. It was the night. It was actually the night before your fucking wine tour. Yeah, true. <laughs> Your first Jager bomb. My first Jager bomb. And did you highly rate sake. it? Oh, was bro, it everything you wanted? So good. I no, but like love Jager bomb. Did you did you skull it or did you? No, s- I sculled it. I necked it. What? We bod pub. Oh, oh bro. Was it f- yeah, it was Flynn's, right? <laughs> every every time, well, every time, every time, every time Jay. It. So in Boddington Pub, oh, bro. these boys just come down and visit. Mm. Jager bombs. Oh, oh fucking bro. die. <laughs> because like you just you have to peak. Like when you're down there, you're just like, I have to have so much red yeah. because <laughs> the night is still young because it's never gonna end. Yeah, mm. it's, that's literally like, your day. The Bod Pub would run out of Jaeger or Red Bull first from us. And <laughs> yeah. they started making us do it every thirty minutes because we're having them too often. Oh my god. What was the um oh, the yeah. drink we got because <laughs> yeah. they run out? So they run out of Red Bull and Jaeger, so she made us a fucking Frangelico. With strawberry sweetener, yuck! Yeah. Was it yeah. strawberry Bailey's? Yeah, yeah, strawberry Bailey's. It was Frank strawberry Jello. Bailey's. Oh, strawberry Bailey's. Bro, nah, bro, bro. 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 Until you bang. try it, man, it was. Fuck people at home, off. Bailey's strawberry flavor with Frangelico in a shot. Yum! It is honestly just yes. going. We were like, "What the fuck?" We'll... <sighs> Dude, I've got this myth about country drinking. I reckon. So you know how, like, obviously, oxygen. This is like. <laughs> <laughs> Huge afterthought Huge afterthought Like oxygen comes from trees and shit Obviously there's going to be more trees In like the country than the city Oh for fuck so That's why go. everyone in the country Just drinks for fucking ages Because like the only other place In the city bro <laughs> That you have an all nighter Is the cast And that's because they pump oxygen Into the cast Think about that it That is going to be The yeah. best fucking TikTok no, We have ever no. <laughs> bro. Yeah, I got this fucking yeah. myth About drinking in the country You know, think, you know the trees and shit yeah. <laughs> Dude, nah, but like I'm I do old. understand. You know what I mean? Because yeah. yeah, every I'm time every time I'm in the country, bro, I would like because I grew up in like I grew up in Meriden on the weekend, so like I'd go there every single weekend, and I could easily drink till five in the morning, like mm. easily. It's just that when I'm here, I'm just like, oh, dude, nine thirty, see ya. Yeah, I've it always was, said oh. that. Like when you come down to Boddington, bro, the air's just cleaner. Oh, you bro, feel you feel it, you, and you can feel the hay fever more. That's why you haven't had the moisturizer twenty years. Because <laughs> you just have yeah. It's just like <laughs> fucking natural solution. It's just like yeah. all the trees, <laughs> oxygen, like <laughs> makes my skin look nice and glossy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. All right. Should we move on to the next question? I want it for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Most overrated bar, Boddington Pub. <laughs> Under. Underrated. <laughs> underrated. Underrated. Um, some bloke literally just asked, what's your most ex- hectic experience? Like, I'm just in general, I guess. Like, I, I can't really uh, think of Oh, I've got one. I've got, I thought of two in my head. So the, I'll, I'll pick the, one. The first yeah. time I ejaculated. Fuck, you're a fucking loser. Right? That was a hectic time. <laughs> Damn. Whoa! What is oh, this? Shit, what man. the fuck? What is this? Mom, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Go ahead, um, I don't know which one would be more hectic. Like, I nearly... Have you ever been to Albany before? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Anyone? Yes, yeah, so I've, I've, I've been to Albany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you know, blowhole? Yeah. When I was like six, I tried to climb down it and nearly killed myself, hey? Like, I didn't mean to. I was just kind of like, <laughs> bro, like... My mum luckily got me at the right time, but I was like, bro, that's not that far. Like, I'll be able to do it. So I like got down on my hands and knees and I started like climbing down like the edge of it like that. And then I felt my hands like going like this. And then I was like, mum. And she just thought I was trying to get her to look at something. And I'm like, mum. And then I was like, mum. She's like, what? And she goes, holy fuck. She <laughs> like, pulled me up and I was in so much trouble, bro. Like I couldn't do anything for the rest of the day. Cause she was like, are you stupid? 
or are you dumb? How old were you? I was like six or seven. Like I was so young. It was huh. like we did this like family holiday, went down there, and like the rest of my whole time down there, I was like, I nearly just didn't do anything else for the rest of my life because I was like, fucking yeeted myself. Oh, fuck. I've got one Damn. now. Damn. What about you? you got one? There you go first. Um, I, I when I rolled my car. Yeah. When I was 18, I got a brand, like a new car, like a Nissan Navara. Damn. Had it for two weeks and yeah, hit a ditch and rolled it. Fuck. And I'll fucking tell you, it was the most electrifying moment of my life. Electrifying. It was hectic though. Like, just like, it's just literally like tumbling, like, I couldn't explain to you. I was just like, Phew, and like glass going everywhere. I was just like, yeah. It was that's de- fucked. Yeah, and I landed like, on, on the roof. So I was like upside down, like had my seatbelt off, like full out the movies, like you fall down. Yeah, like your next like Definitely, that was definitely a hectic experience rolling my car. Well, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't well, know. <laughs> yeah. well. No, that's, that is pretty hectic, man. Like, yeah, fuck. yeah, that was, yeah, it was hectic. Jay's um, like, every day's hectic for me because <laughs> every day's hectic. Um, I don't, I don't have like anything bad, but I feel like, the first time I've I experienced a festi, yeah. or just oh, yeah. or being with a crowd that all love mm-hmm. that sort of same genre of music was probably mm-hmm. one of the most eye-opening experiences I've ever had. Yeah, that touch space when wholesome. Yes, yeah, it was really wholesome. Yeah. yeah, that was um the year that Jaws was there. Yes, that yeah. was really wholesome. That I always look back on that day. Yeah, and it was a really good day. Yeah, my, I feel like I yeah. feel that like my my first festival was Good Life when I was fifteen. I watched the Knife Party. Damn. Oh. And I, that's what I was heavy into I, him. I yeah. have Insane experience. Night party every festival I've been to because either I've been too dutzed or like there was someone else on. <laughs> dutzed. Yeah, well, that's what I was like heavy into him. It was like perfect timing. My yeah. first good life. I was 15 when there was my cousin. I sat at the front for the whole thing and just like Claremont Showgrounds in the underground yeah. in the warehouse kind of thing. Mm. Just like steam and shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like <laughs> full sober. Just like, this is where Vinny went downhill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ever since then I've just... Yeah, it got fucked up at every festival. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next festival, I just took heaps of codeine. It's had a broken collarbone. Fuck. I went, went to a festival with a broken collarbone. I just took like heaps of codeine. I was like, space out. Jeez. Fuck. Yeah, I'm a wild child, bro. Fucking oh. sick cunt. Damn. Yeah, I feel that. What about you, Lockie? I don't really have much. My life's boring as fuck, dude. When you grew your mo? Uh, <laughs> nah, you just eat some play doh and go like this. <laughs> 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 Comes oh, out right. the play doh. That's like mixed colours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, my mind's probably similar to Jay's, just experiencing that, like the midnight, the midnight aura show. of like yeah. being in like a crowd for the first time, or because you get sucks. yeah, because you get home that night and you yeah. just you lay in bed, you're like still covered in sweat a little bit, and you're like yeah, and you're like you're still, uh, you're still going <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> no, this is the little mosquito next to you. <laughs> yeah, you roll over. Ah! Oh, shit. Nah, getting on the train after a festival, you feel the sweat. The oh, bro, listen out 2018 when I got on the train. 2019 was mine. Oh, my yeah, fucking... Because I, I didn't go to... Ni- I went to Bali for 2019, the last one. Oh. 2018, I was on the train. All my mates are fucking rocketed. They're all just like... <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, not even drunk. I didn't even drink at listen out. I was completely sober again. So I'm on the train and there's kids everywhere just... Jaw swinging There's so- a chick spilling in the sober corner festi- yeah, Sober festies are wild Like I feel like you two Have probably never done one Nah never It's I'm, because you remember them I've done li- You I remember did, everything I did listen out 2015 I'm pretty good with remembering everything Wait yeah. Listen out 2015 That touch base So your first one mm. Was dead sober And then 2019 origin Day one Day two no <laughs> <laughs> Jay's like definitely not day two. Oh, day two. Oh, I didn't. I've never seen you like. Bro, I. Bro, oh, dude. That's the photo. That photo? Yeah. 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 Is that the one when Harrison was on the pole? No. uh, That's when when Harrison was like, we're like, where are you? I'm next to a tree. (laughs) And you're like, okay. Uh, Okay, what, what, like, what stage? We're at Wellington. I'm at the stage. (laughs) He's like, it's just the tree. What what stage? What tree? And he was. Wait, is this the last origin that happened? Yeah, yeah. this is the. I remember this because I was there. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That. Tom was fucking all over the place too. At the end of the night, I've got a video of me going, how you going, Tom? He just looks at the camera and goes, yeah, it's, it's and like he looked straight again. He kept walking. I'm like, I, oh, dude, I have a video like that enough. of me. We were like at Sub Focus and Dimension. My mate started filming me, and then like I look at the screen. And I'm just like this, and I just look for a little <laughs> bit longer, and then they just all go. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my first time in like four years. Yeah. So I think it was like listening out 2016 was the last time I'd ever done anything. Had and then pretty so much, much energy, bro. Like, like 90% I've never of seen. my like DJ career had been like I'm like dead sober. I'm not going to do anything. And I was like, you know what? 
It's Origin. I just saw a fun case. I'm going to celebrate. And then it was like, I got a lot of stuff with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget 2018 watching Murder Chibs and um, Infect really going back to back. Yeah. And this is the second oh, I day. I didn't go to that, eh? Like, the second day, I'm just fried. I'm just staying there. Everyone's like, are you okay? And I'm like, this is so cool. You but like just, just made that set, right? Yeah. So I, that's when I was working night shift at the time. And um, I, had to, I went to Origin first day, virtual riot day. And then I had work the next, that night. And I bust my workout, left just in time to get to the thing. I was like, mom, please pick me up. Like, i I got to go there straight away. Can you get work off? Nah, bro. Nah. So, yeah. So, that job sucked. And, um, yeah, that job did suck. And um, literally was walking across the field just absolutely just trolled already because did shit beforehand and... <laughs> Got in and found everyone, and then yeah, Chibs murder and came on. I was like, hey, "Yo!" Yeah. Sorry for the intermission, boys. Really, that's nah, all right. Wait. So before we started filming, Hudson, Jay, and I went. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop. We bro. went and Roast. got a feed Roast. at the Secret Garden, right? And Hudson, out of nowhere, just normal Hudson was just like, "Oh yeah, I got boosted for the first time in ages the other day." I was like, "Yeah, what'd you get?" I just don't get it that much anymore. No, like, no, no. Just, 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 just wait, wait into Did, what he gets. I think you should stay away from boost juice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find exactly what it is, and then I'll read it out. But because I know I he like got it. what is it called? It's called the Brekkie to Go Go. Brekkie to Go Go. <laughs> it's a fucking cereal in a cup. It's not it cereal. Sounds like a it's shit. Ninety. It's song. a cereal in a cup, bro. You go to Boost Juice for a fucking smoothie. It's, or it's a, a smoothie, bro. Do you want to read it out? Hang on. It's got muesli in it. But it's, it's like fucking it's, just, it's, it's fucking just, cereal it's, in a cup. It's literally just oh, nah. milk. porridge, bro. Oh, nah. porridge. I'm, I'm gonna read literally. it out. And you're gonna be like, nah, not a thing. Right, go. Bro. B- banana, muesli, dates, honey, coconut water, coconut milk, whey protein, chia seeds, cinnamon, and ice, and immunity and vita boosters. That's not that bad. What do you mean? No. You're not gonna boost you to get that. But yeah, it's well, a smoothie, isn't it? Protein Supreme Super Smoothie. It's now called not Breakfast to Go Go. Is that on Uber Eats? Yeah. What? I just checked the Uber Eats thing. <laughs> what? Pro banana buzz every day. If that didn't nah. have the muesli in it, I'd be on board. No, nah, but that's the best. Passion part mango. 100%. Yeah, passion, passion mango. Passion fruit and mango. Do you know what I love? I love the lychee melon one. Fucking I, dunce. I, I used to always get watermelon crush. Fuck you. And then, nah, and then it got that. just too like dry at the yeah. end. Yeah. But when I got transitioned to the passion mango, it from start to finish, it was just. I can't get right. ma- I can't get the mango passion anymore because have, like at Dome they have this thing called like the mango fandango. Oh. Yeah, that's like the, that's the one. It literally is like a liquefied full mango, nothing else. Like that's all it tastes. I like. love the fucking iced coffees from there. Yeah, what's those oh, um the those crunchy blaster things? Yeah, bro, it's like a crunch uh country. chocolate block. There's like chocolate yeah, block. Yeah, chocolate those ones. That's what I'm talking uh, about. The, 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 yeah, it's like a gold, yeah, golden Bre- some shit. Yeah. <laughs> we went we went and got uh, brekkie on um. When was the wine tour? Like two Sundays ago? Mm-hmm. So, because where we stayed, you literally like walk out of the apartment, you go down the road and there's a dome right there, like mm-hmm. the one on St. George's. We're like, yeah, we're going to get food. Got the food, got coffee, literally drank like that much of my coffee because it was just ass and then ate half the food and left. And I was like, that's probably the worst dome experience I've ever had. Yeah. What? You said ass. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> not mate. <mine. laughs> but yeah, that's a <laughs> shitty booze juice order. It was not that bad. Usually, bro, Fuck that. it's a cereal in a cup. Fuck that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back him purely because I know that he's got a background of these ones. Of and they and then soup. everyone that everyone that does this just automatically just eats muesli for every fucking meal. Every fucking meal. We went out for breakfast before I left. I had porridge, had porridge and protein. <laughs> fucking there you go. There you go. Porridge sandwich for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> porridge yeah, juice just, for dinner. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> bro, literally like <laughs> porridge in a sandwich. I've been, I've been watching. I've been watching like heaps of videos because I want to find like like new shit to eat. And literally every single person that I've watched, I've watched like fifteen different like bodybuilders. It's always like either oats or like rice cream, like cream of rice for breakfast mm. and they eat it as the last meal as well. Yuck. Dude, have yeah. you seen like bodybuilders like get like chicken, rice and shit and then like blend it? Or Bro, no, worst one. I don't tell guy. me you've done that. Bro. No, 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 no. I watched That's a guy do fucked. like, I don't know because a lot of people don't understand like the concept of like how many calories is like whatever. Yeah. This guy had to do like 10,000 calories in a day but he had to do Fuck. it like, clean eating and then he's like, I'm sick of chewing, so I'm going to blend my next meal. Bro, it was salmon and rice. Oh, he <laughs> blended it. <laughs> and obviously... <laughs> bro. <laughs> and then obviously... <laughs> should I keep talking or should I stop? Just keep okay. going, bro. <laughs> obviously, to blend it, you need moisture. So he added a bit of water as oh! well. 
<laughs> adds a bit of water. And then when it comes out, because the water like condensed the rice. Bro, you know that porridge that I eat in the morning? Like imagine it, it looked like that, but then imagine eating it, it tastes like fish. Like that's what it <laughs> oh, oh my God. When you pour it out, it's like, click, click, yeah. click, click. Ew. Just a little like. I can imagine that guy is just like, fuck <laughs> yeah, fuck, salmon water. <laughs> it's it's like that actual man. rank. And he's like, I regret this. Like, I wish I did not do that. Because it's like two and a half thousand calories like in that shape. <laughs> it took him like an hour to eat it. And he's like, the more that I don't eat it, it's getting cold. And I'm like... Ugh. I actually have a story like that. Because when I was 16 or 17, I had like a massive procedure done in my mouth. So mm. I couldn't eat for two weeks. Oh, wow. Well. Um, so you to get ass fed. I... <laughs> The day Wait. after I had the, the, <laughs> <laughs> told me like that too. the day after I had got the thing done, my mum cooked um, bangies and mash, my fucking favourite. Right? Yum, yeah, yum. Yeah, couldn't eat it. No. Mum goes, you know what? Sit, sit at the table. I'll bring you something, right? I'm like, fuck yeah, mum. Right? I just hear. <laughs> 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 she's blended bangies, mash, oh and tomato God. sauce. And what she's it like? did it taste good, but? This just tastes like mashed potato, to be fair. But yeah. like, oh no, nah, I just God. couldn't. I just, I just, I like had a bit, and I was like, no. the consistency would not be it. The mashed potato is just like with oily oh, sauce. Yeah. Like, so does, does that turn fuck. you off? Or like, oh no. yeah. It was so that you, you have you, you bangers mash. Oh no, I fucking. I'll you still eat it? Oh yeah. Thank God, bro. Yeah, yeah bangers mash is classic. That's my favorite, game. bro. But yeah, I've I literally lived off fucking mint sliced smoothies for like two weeks. Wow. What a bad shout, bro. That's I lost so much weight, bro. I was yeah, man. Fuck. What are you now? Uh, just, just around 80 Just Really? Because really? you are hella skinny still Are you around <laughs> 80? Oh bro, it's over here And on my bunda oh, I'm, yeah. I'm like 87 it's all Really? Big fat schlong I'm, there. A, I'm 103 I haven't been weighing myself Because it's gaining too much I'm muscle like 93, so like, 95 blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you're tall, bro huh? Yeah, yeah 60 like. kilos is from my nose So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about Sean's is then? <laughs> 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 Fucking actually we, I haven't talked about this yet nah, Last weekend Are oh, you going to nah, save it for the next one? No nah, Because we'll do our weekend recap and Oh bro that that was yeah, 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 that that Long story short I was in the fucking Emergency room for four hours With fucking Sean last yeah, week Yeah Next week to find yeah, out Yeah That oh, was yeah fuck For off. a couple of days Whatever Sorry it's over there Spit blood and <laughs> shit Yeah Find out next week <laughs> <laughs> Bro find out soon right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well all right. We're going for what 55 55 minutes oh, I have one more question I would oh, like to yeah. Oh actually We have a few more questions We have one more And then we have Song of the week And I was going to ask one For message of the week As well Yeah Alright so Message of the week Yeah Okay so This is my last question This is something That I came up with This morning oh. Okay Because I was scrolling Through my Instagram And a picture of Billie Eilish Came onto my screen Yep Yum Thoughts What about her well, Like your general um, Perspective oh, so Billie Eilish. Yeah what do, you, what do you think Have about Have you watched Her Hot Ones episode Yes yeah. And like she, her as a yes. person, I think is like healthy. yeah, yeah, she's yeah. sick. She's yeah. And her um, her like James Gordon, uh, like what's the thing? What carpool karaoke? Carpool karaoke. Yeah, like even bro. that, and then like they go to her house, and she's just like showing him like everything in her room and stuff like mm. that. And I was like, she seems like a very cool person as well. Yeah, yeah. like just down to earth. Because you know? I was reading an article, she posted a picture of her in a tank top, and she lost a hundred thousand followers from it. What? Really? Why? Just because just cause cause people just because people suck and but people just have like because she's cause well, obviously she's been wearing the baggy clothes. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, and yeah, like, like you know yeah. she like she's Wait. she's a like a she's a thicker girl like she's not like yeah yeah like a thing but yum yeah like, hundred like thousand yeah. followers bro, like, bro her music's good I rate her as a person hundred percent married bro, yeah. her voice is. 10 out of 10 for me yeah. She's incredible Just think of like So she's been what In the industry for like At least 3 years now right Her age that she's at yeah, I don't bro. think social media Has manipulated her at all No And you mm. think of other people Where like They go through these phases Of like being big Being small And stuff like that She's done 3 years of it consistently And she's probably yeah. in the most Like influential time of her yeah. life Yeah facts So Literally. for that She's probably got like A pretty good Yeah she's awesome bro Yeah for real. definitely She's sick Alright Well that's all from Fuck me. Fuck, we're hell good at asking questions, eh? <laughs> Probably because you're so fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the experience, man. Like today we were eating, he had breadcrumbs coming out of his fucking beard. <laughs> oh, we'll save that for later. Yeah, right? he's, just, <laughs> he's just like, oh shit, bro. Oh, bit, uh, extra. bit extra. All right. Bit extra. So, you, wait, just before, do you have any other questions you want to answer? Nah. No. Nah, nah. Good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Take it now away. for right. me to answer you, Scott. Nah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Interview me. Good. <laughs> Why do you think you're good for this role, eh? <laughs> I don't. I'm just shot. here. <laughs> I'm just here, bro. I like doing. I like talking. What are you going to bring to the team? 
my ass. Just hide. <laughs> hide. Yes. Run. <laughs> Have fun editing. Yeah, dude, this one's gonna be fucked. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> be fucked. All right. You got Hudson beatboxing. You fucking. <laughs> no, you're doing. The club going because everyone's talking. I'm like. <laughs> oh, I fucking love you, bro. Like I can't just imagine my life without you. Oh like, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking grow old together. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and me, baby, to the end. All right. So you got a message of the week from either of you? A message of the week? Yeah. Something for the people. Something for the people. It can be Give something them a drive. stupid, something motivational. Just do what makes you happy. Like you know what I mean. Love Whatever them. brings a smile on your face. I feel like that's number one in my eyes, anyway. So. Yep. Hang out with the friends you want to be with. Hang out, do the things you want to do. Don't listen to anyone else. Facts. Love it, love it. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Always remember that a slower process is generally going to promote positive change. Oh, wow. Drop that motherfucking mic, I literally mic, thought about bitch. it this week, bro, because I had to like, because obviously I, like about my leg and stuff from my comp from a couple of weeks ago and I was like, man, I was, I was pissed off because I was like, I haven't been able to do as much as I want to and my leg was like fucked. And then I was like, but it's making me like actively like strip everything back and then like work back through the process, which yep. I like. Like, yep. I, like like when I look back on writing or anything, for example, like the, the best moment that you have of it is when you learn how to do yeah, it. Yeah, bro, right? 100%. And then you can never get that back because you've learned it. Yeah, yeah, you've mastered that. If you that. get that chance to like go back, do it again. Yeah, it's that, 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 that process of, you yeah. know. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say something similar about, you know, take your time. Hundred percent, you know. It's like life; we're still learning yeah. every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we have day at a time, baby. Exactly. We both kind of said time. exactly what I was going to say. Like, just do what you feel like you need to do at the moment. Yeah, in the moment, yeah. right now, because we we're not. You know, you can obviously, you know, you want, you know, what what you want to do in the future, but you don't know what is in the future. In the future. Yeah. <laughs> in the future. In the future. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So no, I def- one day at a time. Yeah, I definitely say, have a think about what you want to do right now, hmm. and in the next few weeks, because. Yeah, at the moment, I'm just been, you know, doing me. Yeah, I've exactly. been streaming. I've been making a lot of time for my friends. and It's been making me happy. I've been sorting shit out this week. Yep. You know. So you haven't been streaming? No. No. No, just, you know, I've been, you know, with all the shit with my mum and stuff. And I think right now I want to spend a lot of time with her. And, you know, mm-hmm. something came up during the week and um, I nearly got sent to Broome for a month. Yeah, right. To work. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. And um, like straight away, I just got getting anxiety because it would be awesome experience. Mm. But... You know, right now, my friends and my family and my mum are like everything to me. Mm-hmm. And doing this and other stuff just keeps my mind off it. Yeah. I think being a month away at the moment would just not be good for me. No. Yeah. And, you know, that's made me like not stream this week because I want to, like, I've been seeing my Italian family. I've been seeing mates, just doing doing stuff I want to do. And yep. Yeah, exactly. Fuck what other people think. Exactly. You right. do you. You do you, man. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. That snaps awesome. for everyone. Look, look, look. Anything for you, Lockie? No, I'm, I'm, you good? I'm on board with everyone. You're on board? All right. Yeah. I'll well, start with Song of the Week. Hudson, you can go last. Because <laughs> we know what it is. Gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> Mine's going to be Dead Love by Odd Prophet. Fucking banger. Dubstep tune. If you like Damn. dubstep, hit it up. Odd Prophet's new EP actually fucking slaps. But we'll get to that when Hudson talks about it. Yeah. Fucking. You go, Jay? Uh, Memorized by Brucey. E. That's oh, that's, uh, oh, that's been on the on yeah, the yeah. in the on car. That's been on repeat. On, on the repeat. On the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely been on repeat for me. Yeah, 100%. just such a nice vibe. Eh? Lucky. Um, mine's gonna be Moon and Stars by Snot. His the fuck Snot. is that, bro? Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, bro? It's, like, <laughs> it's like slower rap. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is it still like um? I don't even know like what subgenres of rap would really be, right? It's like this. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, give it. Hit it. Vibe. Just imagine cruising. You know? so cruising. Dope song. <laughs> All right, take it away, Hudson. Go nuts. Oh, mine's also on profit, and it's British Gas because it's a fucking ballad, dude. Hey. It's like the first dubstep tune in ages where like has a hard tempo change. And I even me- I messaged Odd Prophet. Vinny yeah, Vinny's yeah. tagged me in it because he put it me on his story, and I was like, "What BPM is this song?" Because it is fucked. And he was like. So it goes from 145, which is like standard, goes to 120, back to 145, down to 110, back to 120, and then it finishes. But what honest, the fuck? And like yeah. all the way through, the, it's got this like grungy like rap breakdown section, and then it just goes into like that high energy shit as well. It's just 10 out of 10. We Sounds listen to it, like, we listen yeah. to the fucking... On the way back here. Oh, it's just... Mm, it's it's the middle part. <laughs> yeah. Like and every little bit has its own little like fundamental part to it. And he was like, bro, if you like the tempo change, I'll do it more. Yeah, hundred percent doable. Yeah, big, big right there. To be fair, there's a lot of music that's come out this week. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Eliminate skepsis is, uh, with K9. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that, seen that. I, I saw that. It, it wasn't, it's not like a, no, it's, it's like a, a it's, it's like a smooth chill. like yeah, chill track. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty, pretty nice. Cool. Fuck your skepticism. You went to sleep as soon as we posted that TikTok. I'm a big I'm a big mix bloke. So there's been like I normally listen to mixes at the gym, and I've had the same things on repeat for like the last month. But this week was like Ray Volpe. Oh my god, the mix he just put out. Yeah, the Ray Volpe, yeah, the Ray the Volpe banger. mix, the Hesh mix. Oh, yeah, oh the Hesh. Oh, he, he, Hessian shivers. Fuck yeah. headshot. I like, yeah. just, um, I just want to, like, the Savage mix came out, out yesterday, yeah. and then Murte bought out a like MG podcast mix, and like all of it. Oh like, yeah, I've listened to that, I bro. Listen to it, yeah. Stompers, bro. Fucking. There's a there's a song in that um, Ray Volpe mix. Yeah. It's like two minutes in. Yeah. Is it the set? Is it the f- second tune? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want. I don't know whose it is, but I he want put it the track list up. Did he? He put the track list up, but it's all like ID'd with other people. Oh, okay, so good, good, like, good, good. Like because I messaged him, I was like, dude, I will literally give my soul for this track. Yeah, like, yeah. honestly, I'm, I love it so much. It just reply. hits so hard. No, he didn't reply. Yeah, yeah there's like, so there's, new, there's new Leo tricks. In, there's new Leo tricks in there that tell good. It's at like the 26 minute mark. I've yeah. actually like timestamped everything. There's mm-hmm. like a new Dion Timber tune, the new Control Freak tune at the end That's of the sick. mix. That's sick. Is this Ray Volt? Yeah. Honestly, oh, a dope, yeah. dope mix. I listen on the way down to Mango. Yeah, sick. But yeah. Fucking nice. Yeah, no, I've been smashing Fair Trade. Yeah, I didn't like it, and then yeah, that, that I was like, I was like pretty, like, I, was, well. I was pretty down one night. And I had to listen to. It, I was like, holy shit, this song actually slaps. Mm. Mm. Yep. Been loving it. I've been listening to heaps of DMB this week. Um, DMB this week because yeah. I finished my new mix. So I was like, I got like a lot of DMB downloaded, and then I was like, how am I going to use it all? And then I like finished the mix on like Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. Nice. So DMB is kind of in my head at the moment as well. Mm. Fuck yeah! All, all right, time. we'll end it there. Lucky Lads. he doesn't want to edit anymore. Been a pleasure. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming on, boys. Oh, yeah, thanks, mate. Been a pleasure, yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, good. All right, good next boys. episode, Lucky and I are going to be in a new location. Nice little. Won't give too much away. You just have to watch the next one. But it's there's going to be uh, there's going to be a few appearances yeah. other than just us. Yeah. I've already uh, done the rounds and messaged a few people and told them to come have a yeah, chat. I've done told, the, I've done told people, deed. Jake may make a double appearance. That is. Oh, are you coming? That is. Yeah. Oh, yours. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, beers, we, we got beers, yeah. beers, beers. Yeah, we, <laughs> special episode next one. Yeah. So tune in. Tune in. Love you all. all right, much love. Thumbs up. Bye. Bye.